Let's review the business use case for the process call activity. In this activity, a parent and child process handle incoming CSV customer records. The parent process retrieves incoming documents and then sends the documents to its child process for further evaluation. Within the child process, it's determined whether the customer record is active or inactive. The child process segregates and returns all active and inactive customer records back to the parent process, as well as an archive copy of all records. The parent process converts active customer records to XML and writes them to disk, and the parent process writes the inactive and all customer records to separate disk directories, respectively. To accomplish this, we're going to add a process call shape, which will send the incoming documents to the child process for evaluation. Then in the child process, we'll add and label the return document shapes based on the status. In the parent process, we'll connect active, inactive, and all branches to the corresponding paths. We'll run the parent process in the test mode to see the results. I'm going to demonstrate this activity, which is found on pages 33 to 40 of the activity guide. So here in the training account, I'm going to create another folder in Developer 2 to house the activity named Process Call. And then in the process library, I need to bring in two different processes. So I've entered dev2 as a filter. I want to bring in the parent. So I'll click install and select process call folder. Instead of viewing the process, I'm going to click back to library so that I can choose to install the child process. Click Install, and you'll see that it's already sent to the same folder where I sent the parent process. So I'll click Install and then Close. So now in the Process Call folder, we have the parent process as well as the child process. I'm going to start by configuring the process call shape here in the parent process. So from the Execute tab of the Shapes palette, I'm going to click and drag a process call shape onto the canvas. Selecting here process call activity, the child. And I do want to wait for the process to complete. And I also want to keep the default here to abort if subprocess fails. So I'll connect the message shape to the process call shape. Right now, there are no branch paths extending from the shape. But as we add return document shapes to the child process, then those branches will appear here. I'm going to open the child process. Now here, our start shape is set to no data. But we need to switch this from a no data shape to a data pass-through. The reason for that is we want the documents to come from the parent process to be evaluated here in the child process. Now, a decision shape is already configured to evaluate whether the customer record is active or inactive.
So from the logic tab of the shapes palette, I'm going to add a return document shape to each of these paths. For the first, this will return the inactive customers. So I'll sort of hook that up here. On the false path, this will return active customers. And then here in the second path of the branch, this is going to return all for archiving. So I'll save the child process. Now if I go back to the parent process, you'll see that there are paths extending from the process call shape. I'm just going to drag that a little lower on the canvas. And then attach the active to the active, inactive here to inactive, and all to this path here. I'm going to save the process and run a test to view the results. All right, our test has completed successfully. Now, only the parent process was run, but the results of the child process can be observed in the test results. If we click the process call shape and look at the shape source data, when we click the blue arrow, you'll see that the process view here changes to the child process. And we can view the documents in and out of the different shapes here in the child process. So our decision shape is evaluating whether the customer is inactive or active. Then to return, to the parent logs. We can view the connectors and look at the connection data. We'll see that PASCO communications was written as an active customer to the work directory. All right, now it's your turn to complete the process call activity that's on pages 33 to 40 of the activity guide.